In this session, we are going to do a very simple stuff, which is about installing two different versions of PostgreSQL and on operating system. So in this case, we are going to install Postgre 11 and Postgre 13 on Debian. To, to use the system, what we are doing is uh, we are going to launch an EC2 instance. Uh, let's select for Debian and search for it. So you will be able to see the Debian. Right? The search button has not worked. So okay, this is the Debian. So we just select it, and uh, there's T2 Micro. Next configure. So we are we are taking the things uh, which are uh, occurring by default. So we are not adding something new. So everything is uh, default only. So we'll add the rule for Postgre. Uh, port as well so let's where is the PostgreSQL port here it is and uh, we are saying just review and launch and finally we are going to launch it this is going to take at least a minute or so in that time what we will do is let me open a PostgreSQL Uh, let me open a putty session. I'll put it over here. The host name, public host name. Says the the system is still up, not up and running. So what we will do is uh, we'll wait for it to uh, get initiated, and uh, then we will start working on it. Let's go step by step. What we are trying to do is for. Uh, um, so it's always easy to use the EC2 instance for such kind of purposes. So we have uh, initiated or we have uh, launched an EC2 instance with the operating system Debian. And uh, we are going to connect it through the PuTTY. And then what we are going to do is we are going to install Postgre 10 and Postgre 13. The idea behind this is when we have multiple instances of uh, different binaries installed on my system, maybe due to some purpose. In, in, my, in, in this case, we will be using it sometimes later for the upgrade purposes, wherein it will be side by side upgrade we will be doing. But for that, you, you need to make sure that uh, how do we uh, access two different versions of PostgreSQL running on and a particular host. The idea behind this is when you install, uh, let me go through the step. So these steps have been taken from the PostgreSQL.org. I have selected the, uh, the Debian as the operating system and these things have came up and we, we will be using these steps for uh, installing the Postgre 11. Once we uh, deploy this, then we will start the PostgreSQL 11. And, and then in Postgre 11, what we will do is we will log into PostgreSQL 11 using the port. The default port is 5432 because we are not going to change it. And uh, when we log in, we will be able to see some of the template database and uh, uh, one of the uh, system database, which is Postgre. And, uh, how do we log into this instance? Either you simply say psql or you can say psql-p and you mention the port name. Why we are using this method? Because we will have two instances and we will be logging to two different instances using different port. Otherwise, we will be in a problem. I'll show you how it is. Initialization is still in progress. Okay, let's go to the uh, next step, which is PostgreSQL 13 installation. Once we are connected to Postgre 11, then we will create a database uh, which we will call it as, let's say it as create a database PG11. Okay, we have already mentioned it earlier and uh, then we will list down the databases which are available. And uh, then we will go to Postgre 13. We will update uh, and upgrade the, uh, the repository. Then we will reboot it uh, to make it effect. And then there are a few commands which we have to, uh, to execute to make sure that Postgre 13 is installed. Let us see the status. Okay, this is, this is fine. So if we say connect now, we should be able to. Okay. So the, the user over here is admin. Now we will quickly 
go and do the steps so the first command either you do the sudo su space minus or uh, since this is having the sudo privilege so this will allow us to to execute this so what it is doing is it is going to the repository and uh, it is pgdg wherein all the details will be available and it is going to put it in the uh, the repository over here in postgre server then finally we are going to update the system it is good to have it updated all right now you go ahead and install postgre 11 this is getting installed and the final thing which it has done is uh, it is saying success you can now start the database server using pg underscore ctl cluster 11 main start the version is 11 cluster is main port is 5432 status is down owner is postgre the first thing which we should do is now is so minus postgre which is the service account and then we are going to start the postgre 11 so either we use pg uh, ctl cluster 11 main start now oh, let's say sudo you start it or there is other way using the system ctl as well so we'll say sudo system ctl start and postgre uh, sql at 11 hyphen main just check the status it is active and running so what we will do now is we will log in either you log in like this then it is going to okay the, the first thing which we will do is switch to the postgre user as when you install it using uh, this way apt get or using yum install in that case there will be an operating system user postgre who will be the owner of the software postgre so we have switched to the postgre os user now what we will do is either you say psql you are connecting to the command prompt and you simply say select at the rate version so where is it select version so i should put it over here that should be our first command just to check the status of the the versions version of the binary so it is postgresql 11 so what we will do over here is uh, let me see how we have connected it we simply used psql we will avoid using it because it, immediately after this we will have one more instance running with on different ports so we'll say psql-p 5432 just making a habit of uh, of using the port okay and we will check the version just check the version select version and uh, then just list down the database and being here so you see there are two template databases and uh, one is the postgre system database so what we will do is we will create a database uh, pg11 so we have created a database pg11 inside postgre uh, sql 11 cluster so let's come out of this and the next thing which we are going to do is we are going to install postgre 13 so simply say sudo apt update we are updating then sudo apt upgrade just upgrade it once it is done we have to reboot the system the 72 percent done and then we will say sudo reboot so this is going to reboot the system let's check the status
if you try connecting it it is not going to connect though the system uh, status is not uh, showing up here accurately if you try new session public host name this may take a few seconds to connect okay i think it is back up time if you see okay all right let's move on to the next step wherein we will say sudo apt update This is done. Then you say sudo apt install gnu pg2. This is done. Then using the wget, you execute this command. I should use uh, sudo everywhere. Let's do the echo to check. Okay, this is working fine. Just to verify the pgdg list. Okay, this is this is looking fine. Now finally we'll say sudo apt update. Sudo apt update. It is updating. And then we will say sudo apt y install postgre 13 and the client as well. You can see the success you can now start the Postgre server using. If you see the default port where it is coming is 5433. The status is down. Now what we will do is we will start the Postgre 13 cluster and then we will check the status. It has started. Check the status using this command as well. So instead of a start we will say pg underscore ctl cluster 13 main status and you can see server is running pid is 3224 and using the system ctl as well we can check the status you can see it is up and running if you remember earlier what we did we logged into postgre 11 using the port now here also we will log in using the port psql hyphen p and then we will use the port number so let's switch to the uh, os user who is the owner postgre clear the screen and then we will say psql hyphen p 543 okay if i say hyphen l if you see it here we created pg11 so it is not visible over here because it is in the other instance so now what we will do is we will create a database of pg13 so let's create let's check the version first you can see postgresql 13.4 let's create a database create a database pg13 list down the databases so you have pg13 there are two four so one is the user database which which we just created pg13 and let's connect to 5432 and just say just check out the version so it is 11.12 and if you say slash l the list of the databases so you have postgre 11 here you have postgre 13 postgre 11 is there in the postgre 11 instance postgre 13 is in the postgre 13 instance 
to ensure that you are connected to proper uh, 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 proper uh, instance using the particular port and this is of utmost importance when we are going to do side by side upgrade from pg11 to pg13 using uh, pg dump all method though we have pg upgrade also but we have seen some issues so we will be trying out this way so just to recap we installed the two instance of postgre postgre 11 and postgre 13 we installed it on the debian system and while uh, connecting to the command prompt we simply use the port number in case you face some issue you can try out uh, setting up the pg data and path as well in case there is any problem and uh, ensure you you mention the port so that it directly uh, go to the uh, uh, it directly goes to the particular instance which you are trying to connect i hope this is going to help